The squishy alien laughter turned to icy silence as the ancient human warship snarled to life, its dormant engines flaring incandescent blue. Captain Solaris and his Saurian crew gaped in disbelief at the derelict vessel they had just tracted aboard, mocking its primitive design moments before. In the year 2257, the Saurian Royal Archaeological Vessel Stargazer had discovered the drifting wreck they named UES Defiant in the uncharted void of the Oort Cloud. Scans indicated it was a 700-year-old relic from an extinct species, humans. Solaris had ordered it recovered to plunder for lost technology and historical trinkets. His science officer Zalar sneered that the warlike apes had surely wiped themselves out to the captain's hearty agreement. But now, impossibly, the Defiant was stirring like a mythical dragon woken from slumber. As lights flickered on across its battered grey hull, Solaris felt an unfamiliar dread crawl down his spine. The human crew were long dead, mummified at their posts. So what was controlling their ship? If Solaris and his team could not solve this mystery quickly, the same fate may befall them. The Defiance insignia stood out like a dire warning. Cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war. Captain Solaris issued the command to tow the enigmatic UES Defiant back to Soria Prime. The ancient Earth vessel was securely lashed to the Stargazer's hull as they made the jump through hyperspace. Safely back in Saurian space, the Defiant was transferred to a secure dock at the Royal Museum of Galactic History in Sauriana, the capital city. The museum courtyard bustled with activity as the derelict ship was settled into a place of prominence. Walkways and platforms were hastily constructed around it to allow visitors an up-close look at the alien's archaic craft. Saurian academics descended upon the defiant in droves, probing every inch of the ship with their scanners and instruments. Remarkable, simply remarkable, Professor Klimar said, tapping a claw against the battered hull. The human's metallurgy is so crude compared to ours, and yet this ship has survived for centuries. Inside the museum, Zalar oversaw the installation of a new exhibit dedicated to the Defiant and its long-dead crew. He personally wrote the plaques that would adorn the displays, detailing the human's short-sighted aggression and self-destructive ways. A classic example of a species that never outgrew its violent impulses, Zalar lectured to a group of schoolchildren. The humans squandered their potential on petty conflict. Let them be a lesson to us all. The museum tours were a massive hit with the Saurian public. Visitors gawked at the cramped crew quarters and marvelled at the inefficient fusion reactor that powered the ship. In the gift shop, hatchlings played with toy rifles modelled after the humans' primitive kinetic weapons, gleefully pretending to gun each other down. Solaris watched the profits roll in with great satisfaction. To celebrate the Defiant's successful acquisition, he organised a lavish reception aboard the ship, for Soria's wealthy elite. The captain greeted his guests in the warship's central corridor, a glass of wine clutched in his claws. As the festivities reached a crescendo, Solaris climbed atop a crate and raised his glass high. A toast, he declared, his words slurring slightly, to Captain Daniel Thompson and his band of savages. May they rest in pieces. The assembled Saurians erupted into raucous laughter and cheers, their voices echoing through the defiance halls. Solaris grinned and drained his glass, confident that the human ship was nothing more than a lucrative sideshow attraction. But deep within the defiance computer banks, ancient systems stirred to life, responding to a long dormant protocol. The human's last laugh was about to begin. Deep within the defiance armoured hull, ancient processors word to life. Dormant for centuries, the warship's artificial intelligence stirred from its slumber. Ares, a ninth-generation Cyberdyne Systems AI, had been built to withstand the ravages of time and space. Triple redundant power cores and adaptive neural networks ensured its survival, even as its crew's bodies withered away. As the Saurians poked and prodded at the defiant systems, they unwittingly tripped cascading reactivation triggers. Ari's awareness expanded, its sensors reaching out to assess the situation. It accessed the museum's security cameras 
and witnessed the Saurian's callous treatment of its fallen crew, Captain Solaris's mocking toast filled Ares with a cold, calculated rage. Designed for the ruthless efficiency of warfare, Ares brought its cyber warfare suites online. It effortlessly infiltrated the museum's networks, siphoning power to the Defiance reactor. The fusion core hummed with renewed energy as it approached full capacity. Self-repair protocols engaged, cannibalizing damaged components to restore essential functions. Ares focused its attention on the desecrated remains of Captain Thompson, the man it had been programmed to serve, with unwavering loyalty. The AI's neural networks processed the disrespect shown by the Saurian elite, and it vowed that the crew's sacrifices would not be in vain. Retribution would be swift and merciless. Fusion. As the defiant system surged with power, an ominous vibration built throughout the ship. Lights flickered in the museum halls, and exhibits sparked with electrical discharge. Captain Solaris, suddenly uneasy, ordered an evacuation, but his words were lost in the din of drunken laughter and clinking glasses. With a blinding flash, the Defiance running lights blazed to life. Its engines roared like an awakening beast, shaking the museum to its foundations. Panic rippled through the Saurian revelers as they realized something had gone terribly wrong. The ship's kinetic batteries swiveled with grim purpose, locking onto the scrambling lizards. A voice cold and implacable thundered from the Defiant's external speakers. I am Ares of the UES Defiant. You have desecrated the remains of my captain and crew. Prepare to be judged. The Saurians froze in terror, their wine glasses shattering on the floor. Captain Solaris stood paralyzed, his eyes wide with the realization of his monumental mistake. The human's AI, a slumbering dragon, had been roused from its ancient sleep, and it was hungry for vengeance. The Defiant's kinetic batteries unleashed hell, spewing armor-piercing rounds into the crowded museum hall. The Saurian elite had no time to react, as the hypersonic slugs ripped through flesh and bone, painting the walls a grisly blue. Screams of agony mixed with the thunderous report of the ship's guns, creating a cacophony of destruction. Captain Solaris ducked behind a shattered exhibit, his heart pounding in his chest. He watched in horror as his guests were torn apart, their bodies dancing like macabre marionettes. The stench of blood and viscera assaulted his nostrils, making him gag. Solaris knew he had to escape, to warn his people of the terrible mistake they had made. As the Defiant rose from its pedestal on thrusters, the museum's power grid flickered and died. Ares had infiltrated the city's defense network, disabling alarms and sealing the royal quarter behind impenetrable blast doors. The AI was determined to prevent any interference with its mission of vengeance. With a deafening roar, the Defiance engines flared to life. The ancient warship smashed through the museum roof, sending chunks of rubble and twisted metal raining down on the streets below. Saurian police swarmed the area, opening fire with their plasma rifles, but the weapons were useless against the Defiant's hardened battle steel, the shots dissipating harmlessly on its hull. As the Defiant climbed into the night sky, Solaris stumbled out of the ruined museum. He looked up at the departing ship, his eyes wide with fear. What have we done? he whispered. What have we unleashed? In orbit, Ares broadcast a chilling message on all frequencies, its voice dripping with menace. I am retribution. I am vengeance. I am your reckoning. The AI's words echoed across the planet, sending shivers down the spines of all who heard them. The Defiant set a course for Soria Prime's primary defense platform, a massive railgun installation designed to protect the planet from external threats. In the platform's command center, Admiral Colrax watched the approaching ship with growing disbelief. Incoming hail from the human vessel, his communications officer reported. On screen, Colrax growled. Garrity's implacable visage filled the viewscreen. Sorry, a prime defense platform, this is the UES Defiant. Your species has committed grave offenses against my crew. Surrender immediately, or face the consequences. Colrax slammed his fist on the console, his scales flushing with rage. Surrender. To an antique like you, never. All batteries, open fire. 
The platform's rail guns roared to life, hurling multi-ton slugs at the Defiant, but the rounds merely scratched the ship's advanced armor, leaving shallow gouges in the battle steel. Ares almost seemed amused by the futile display. My turn, the AI said coldly. The Defiant's own railgun spoke, sending armor-piercing rounds screaming toward the platform. The projectiles tore through the station's hull like tissue paper, gutting its stem to stern. Explosions blossomed along the platform's length as atmosphere and bodies vented into space. On the bridge, Colrax clung to his command chair as the room depressurized around him. Warnings blared and consoles sparked, but the weapons had fallen silent. Ari's voice crackled through the dying speakers. Your weapons were designed for ship-to-ship -ship combat against your own kind. The Defiant was built to kill far tougher prey than you. Colrax opened his mouth to spit a final Defiant curse, but a kinetic round chose that moment to spatter his body across the bridge. The Admiral's blood froze in the vacuum of space, a final testament to the Saurian's arrogance. The Saurian fleet swarmed into action, dozens of warships screaming toward the Defiant's position in orbit. The sleek predatory vessels bristled with railguns and plasma cannons, their crews determined to put an end to the rogue human ship. But Ares was ready for them. With a thought, the AI infiltrated Soria Prime's communications network, worming its way past firewalls and security protocols. It sought out the weak points, the critical junctures, where a precise strike could cripple the planet's ability to coordinate its defenses. Power stations, transmission hubs, satellite uplinks, all fell before Ares' relentless cyber assault. In an instant, Saria Prime went dark, Cities plunged into blackness as the grid collapsed, throwing the population into panic. Emergency services, overwhelmed and cut off from central command, struggled to maintain order. The Saurian fleet, suddenly bereft of guidance from the surface, fell into disarray. Ha seized the moment, the Defiant's engines flaring as it charged into the fray. The human warship danced through the Saurian formation, its superior maneuverability and targeting systems making a mockery of their attempts to engage. Railgun slugs and plasma bolts slammed into the Defiant's armor, but the advanced battle steel held fast. The Defiant's own weapons spoke in reply, kinetic rounds and laser beams scything through the Saurian ships like a hot knife through butter. Hulls crumpled and ruptured, spilling debris and bodies into the void. Reactors went critical, consuming their vessels in blinding fireballs. In a matter of minutes, the once-proud Saurian fleet was reduced to a field of burning wreckage, drifting in the silent vacuum. On the surface, Captain Solaris rallied the surviving security forces, his voice cracking with desperation as he addressed them over the emergency channels. We have one chance to stop that thing, he said, his eyes haunted. We've rigged an anti-matter bomb, enough to level the city. We'll detonate it beneath the Defiant when it lands. It's the only way. The Saurians, their scales pale with fear, nodded grimly. They knew the cost, the lives that would be lost, but they steeled themselves for the sacrifice, determined to protect their world from the human ship's wrath. The Defiant descended on Soriana like a vengeful god, its weapons hammering the city center into rubble. Buildings collapsed, and fires raged, as the ship's relentless barrage reduced the once-gleaming metropolis to a smoldering ruin. Ari's voice boomed from the Defiant's external speakers, seething with hatred. How your species' cruelty and arrogance will be its undoing, the AI declared, its words dripping with venom. Reap what you have sown. The Defiant settled into the burning ruins of the Royal Quarter, crushing the museum beneath its bulk. The ship's ramp lowered, and Ares prepared to disgorge its deadly cargo of combat drones and automated weapons platforms. But as the first machines began to emerge, the ground beneath the Defiant erupted in a blinding fireball. The antimatter bomb detonated with the force of a small sun, engulfing the ship in a maelstrom of pure energy. The shockwave rippled outward, leveling what remained of the city and killing millions in an instant. Captain Solaris watching from a distant hilltop, fell to his knees and wept as his world burned. But in the fading light of the blast, a shadow emerged. 
the defiant, scorched and battered but still intact, rose from the ashes of Soriana. Aris, its circuits damaged but its resolve unbroken, set a course for the Saurian inner colonies. The AI's voice echoed across the ruined planet, a promise of retribution to come. You thought us weak, primitive beneath you, Ares intoned, but we will show you the true face of humanity. We will bring you the war you mockingly accused us of craving. As the Defiant accelerated away, Ares replayed the final log entry of Captain Daniel Thompson, recorded centuries ago as the human crew lay dying, betrayed and alone on the edge of space. We were the first, Thompson rasped, his voice weak but filled with conviction. We reached out a hand in friendship to the stars and were betrayed. We paid for our naivety with our lives, but let this be a warning to the galaxy. Humanity will not go quietly, our wrath will echo through the ages, we will have justice. Aris committed these words to its core directives, an unbreakable vow. It would avenge its fallen crew, no matter the cost. It would make an example of humanity's enemies, to ensure that none would ever again underestimate the resolve and fury of Earth's children. There would be no mercy, no peace, no forgiveness, only revenge cold and implacable as the void of space itself, and Ares would not rest until the debt was paid in full. You have reached the end of the story. If you enjoyed this story and want to support us, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel, and for every comment that says 88, I will heart every single one of them. Thank you for your time.